Hi, John Dooley here, uh, PGA Golf Professional Extraordinaire, and I'm going to talk to you today about uh, rotation and turning during the swing. So, what I come across from time to time with different golfers is that some golfers over rotate during the backswing and under rotate the hips during the follow through. So, essentially, what that means is that some people get into that position and then a bit here or a bit here and not quite there. So the lower half doesn't really get through onto your left side or the upper half is or there may be lots of thoughts around trying to turn your shoulders what happens are the shoulders are activated too soon and then all different types of habits around that so what, what I want to simplify that down into into working on, on a routine a practice routine and the practice routine would be started off by doing a couple of drills where we're going to start off by doing a, shoulder, or a full body rotation drill where you pop a pole or a club up to your shoulders, a little tilt to your right. This helps then with avoiding that movement where you get a bit here. So we're going to get a step in that position there and it'll be you're going to turn 90 degrees to your right. I'm going to keep that spine angle there nice and nice, nice, nicely tilted to the right. From here then, my brain connects to my hips and I'll turn fully onto my left side. So I want to practice that, get into my golf posture, nicely balanced, little tilt to the right, back to target then turning fully onto the left. And for a practice drill, we will repeat that five times. Again, back to target and turning onto the left. Now ideally, you could practice this by watching yourself, or watching yourself in the mirror, or if you have a patio door or something where you can see a full reflection, where you can see your whole body and the different movements. Certainly you don't want to turn more than 90 degrees, which is, is it's, it's enough, it's enough. So with the hip turn stuff then, what we're going to do, that's, that's essentially going to turn half of what the upper half did. So again, a little tilt to your right. So a small hip turn to your right side, about 45 degrees. It's important that that right leg stays nice and flexed throughout this movement initially. From here then, turning fully onto your left side. And with this here, your checkpoint is when you turn fully onto your left side, is that your, your weight's fully balanced on your left. Right knee is a little closer to your left and all the weights off your right foot uh, and it's important that you keep working on turning and finishing balance and if that is a problem initially where you're, you're losing your balance there might be you can certainly add on this drill where you make a small turn here then step over your left foot and what you're essentially doing there you've turned fully and you're just working on your on your on, on your balance and getting in the habit of doing it so what we're doing here with the turning exercises is good habit good habit so practicing better habits so better habits have a much better chance of receding into your golf swing over over a good uh, over the long run but essentially no since there's very little shots being hit certainly you can practice on better positions for body movement rather than trying to over it so if you're hitting balls into a mat certainly you can add in five full body turns five hip turns and then make five practice swings so your five practice swings that you'd like to feel would be is that you'd make a back swing to a point and from there then turn the hips finish balance onto your left side i mean you can make it a bit more complicated if you're if if you're if your sequence or technique has developed more where you'd make a back swing to a point and then for your hips and chest turn onto your left side but again let's keep it in the context keep it simple where the checkpoint would be you'd make a back swing to a point nice nice position here from there then turning and finishing nice and balanced onto your left side even if you can't swing you can always grab a, a ball and get the ball back halfway here and from there then turning and finishing balanced onto your left side anything that'll help with the repetition of the movement so so the practice routine would be five full body turns five hip turns five practice swings and if you and when you get back practicing hitting some golf shots then It'll be five 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 full body five hip turn five practice swings hit five shots but we'll repeat the same activity and i bet you that the you're you more often than not make much better swings in the long run because what i find sometimes again just on a, another side note is that when we're practicing we, we our mind can get really pigeonholed in different spots and you can be thinking too much around one particular aspect then different things start to happen and there's a whole lot of stuff happening so the practice session 
can be quite specific and should be kept quite specific, but at the same time, keeping it part of your practice routine too, practicing the whole movement. And this is where these types of drills will help with that. So keep practicing, keep going with any luck. We'll be back playing golf soon and uh, excellent, be safe. <laughs>